Dispatch started to get some reckless driver calls. 6.14 p.m. Sunday. Troy Police Chief Jeremy Gooch said they got multiple calls about an erratic vehicle on I-35. Very high rate of speed, passing on the left, passing on the right. The car started in the Belton Temple area and quickly moved into Troy, the chief told me. That's when a Troy police officer spotted it. As he turns his lights on, um, the vehicle never slows down. It stays in the 90 to 100 mile an hour range. The chase began. The vehicle leading officers through several counties, heading north toward Fort Worth. Going on the left and the right, um, cutting between cars, uh, obviously in an unsafe manner. Around 7.23 p.m., a little over an hour after the first call that came into Troy PD, Fort Worth police say they were called to respond. The car reportedly crashed on I-35 near Spur 280. Chief Neil Noak said officers learned the male passenger was holding the female driver at gunpoint. Then they heard a gunshot and got information that the woman had been shot, the chief said. Officers approached the vehicle in an attempt to save the victim and render medical aid. During that encounter, at least one Fort Worth police officer fired his weapon at the suspect. The investigation into what made that officer fire his weapon is still ongoing. Both the suspect and the victim died, though the chief said officers had tried to save the woman by taking her to the hospital themselves when traffic made it difficult for an ambulance to get on scene. They did what they could to try to save that victim inside of the vehicle despite the danger that was presented to themselves. And for that, I am proud of them. In Fort Worth, I'm Ariel Placencia.